Welcome to Vora Motors. Today, we will be showing you how to replace the front and rear controllers on the Mantis King GT. You will need a 2.5mm hex key, a Phillips head screwdriver, and your replacement controller. To start off, remove the silicone deck cover around the edges to get to the hex screws underneath. Take your 2.5mm hex key and remove the 14 hex screws. Remove the deck cover and weather stripping. Carefully remove the battery from the deck and unplug the large yellow battery connectors. Then unplug the smaller yellow charging port connectors and place the battery to the side. There are two controllers, which need to be unscrewed from the bottom of the deck. We recommend placing the scooter in a high and safe position so that you can access the bottom of the deck without risk of it falling. Unscrew the four Phillips head screws securing the controllers to the deck. The easiest way to tell which controller is which is to read the side of the controller. TFT-A controls the rear motor, and TFT-B controls the front motor. We recommend that you take pictures of the connections before unplugging anything for reference later. Unplug all of the connections from the controller you're replacing one at a time. Be sure to take photos during this process. Plug all of the connections from the replacement controller in one at a time. Be sure to refer to your reference photos to ensure everything is connected properly. There are some differences between the two controllers, so if you're replacing both, make sure you take them out and replace them one at a time. Organize and tidy the cables and place the controllers in the correct area for reattachment to the deck. With the deck in a high and safe position, line up the holes and screw the controllers back into the deck from below with your Phillips head screwdriver. Carefully place the battery back into the deck labeled downward, ensuring the cables are not trapped underneath. Plug in the large yellow battery connectors, and then plug in the small yellow charging port connectors. Make sure to test out the LEDs, lights, horn, turn signals, motors, and anything else you can think of before replacing the deck cover to ensure the scooter is working properly. Organize the cables neatly into the deck. Place on the weather stripping, ensuring the screw holes are aligned. Replace the deck cover and screw in the 14 hex screws with your 2.5mm hex key. And that's it! Thanks for watching. Check out more videos on our channel and visit us at voromotors.com.